Welcome to Satisfactory. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 17 of our Let's Play. So, we done, last time we built some beautiful, beautiful smelting production facility here. And after that I got myself a bit carried away. That happens sometimes. And basically what I did was just saying, you know what, I want to build the rest of the ground floor. And just make it nice and kind of make it make sense just to myself. Because as I was running at the end of the last episode, I just noticed that it was extremely dark while running out inside here. So I thought, you know what? I'm actually going to uh, go around and make the inner pillars, these ones, this bright yellow as well. And it has actually cheered up everything a lot. It, it's actually really nice at this point. And I am just, I'm still contemplating how to fit something purple in here because we absolutely must maybe on the inside maybe something but i mean we gotta have something purple here <laughs> whether whether it's i mean i'm now just gonna be crazy here right why not there if, if even some small things like that And then we have to delete the other ones. That's unfortunately how it works for this. And that one is actually intentional. And then I would have to take my pink gun and because I load, it's completely gone. Uh, that is so annoying. Eventually it'll be fixed. But until then, it's mildly annoying. This one is... Take that number three. Oh, that would update the preset. Ha, that's fun. I don't know if this makes it. Oh my God, it's, everything is horrible. Everything is horrible. And that one, uh, then I need to fix it. This is luckily black, so that's easy. That's the disadvantage of me always wanting to load, get the load screen and when I start the episode is this part. But you don't need the load screen. Uh, yes, I do. It's, it's kind of becoming a signature thing. There we go. There. Now we have the colors equipped. They're beautiful. And now look at how silly it is. When we... Oh, yeah. The whole base, uh, because I spent a bit of time. Let's call it a bit of time. That looks... That sounds better. Right? Just a bit of time. On building this. Then the whole base ran out of fuel. Which is also expected because it is... Yeah, capacity zero. Hmm. And consumption, obviously also zero. So we need to go here and that will probably be be a bit of an issue that we are not having enough. Well, we do have enough for, yeah, okay. We do have enough for one more fuel round. But we don't have enough to two more fuel rods. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to go up to the second floor. And in order to do that, we absolutely must be able to have enough power. One, two, three, four. You know, maybe one of these could just get that one in. For some reason, I have one wood in my inventory. All right, so we need to go up to the first floor. So we built the iron ingots down there. Now let's have a look at what we need. Actually, we also need to see if there are any signs or any tech that we need to make sure we get up there. Let's see, any, whoops, any man research that is completed? Nope, a waiting structure. We have quick wire. That's great because we did build, we did build this uh, little thing here. Oh, it's not even done. Oh, yeah, it is done. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. This is just to craft the quick wire. So we didn't have to do all the ingot processing, but the quick wire thing, that's easy. And we do need a bit of quick wire in our inventory because we need it for uh, the Mark II power poles. But no point in saving the ingots. We might as well do this one. Ding, 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 ding. And we have the alternative stitched here. Let's look what else we have. We have purple shards. We can get 
Let's make sure we don't have anything out here that we are missing. Purple shots. Steel production would be nice and I could handcraft my way out of it, but I'm not going to with this one though. That's also quite expensive and we don't really need it until we have a second purple shot. So what we do want is going in here. Quick wire. Put hunter quick wire in. Give us 22 and a half minutes. Wow. That gives us I think this gives us the Caterium processing plants thing. And that one. Alright, so that's good. Sort that. Anything else we need? No, I don't think so. So no research to be done. What we do need though is make sure that I can craft assemblers. I'm gonna have a few of these. Let's call it two. So we do need some handcrafting. And that means we should get oh right, this one. Iron plates and also iron rods, they are here. These are just always idle. That's perfect. And there we go. All right. So rotors, rotors should be pretty easy to make. Yeah, yeah. When you have, what's this? Wow, hold on. They are way easier than I thought. That's logistics mark too, never mind. I'm not... Did I get the purple shots just because? No, don't do it. You don't need it. Just don't be greedy. Modular frames, how do we take do that? Modular frame. Yeah, that's a bit more expensive to do. Then we do the stitch plate. They are absolutely phenomenal. They are so good. Especially when we have the iron wire. There, there, and there. Yep, so we have 12 of that. Let's sort things up. That's an awful lot of... Uh, things I have okay so let's get some wires along with our with, along with us because we probably need some plates then let's bring it up all right um, at 48 let's take a few let's take one more there all right I like it I like this one I like it a lot we're gonna build a tower like that except oh look at that that's actually I like that it does signify something. And then we would also need one up here. That would be that one. So that one is standing right underneath the one that you need to jump up. Okay. I suppose we could take the other one, but why not take this one? And... Unfortunately, we do need to take this one out and that one out because we do need a power pole mark two in this corner. As close to the corner as we can. And that'll wire up to that one through the wall. There's nothing wrong with bringing wires through the wall. Everyone does it all the time. And we take power there. All right, that's unfortunately just one more thing that takes power. And we're up. Nice, I love it. We are going to pluck that hole because we are gonna make it safe-ish. And I didn't plug it because I wanted to make be safe while I did this. I did it because that's the only way to place these inside the belts or inside the same area all right let's see what are we doing here that one is okay so i guess this i 
Let me see if I can remember this or if I can figure this out. All right, see, this is interesting because this does not necessarily have to be a path in or out. Now that, I don't really know what, how I'm going to deal with, but, um, oh well. Now I guess this one and that one. These will one, two, three, four, five. Yep, yellow tower, a pillar at least. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna have to do this, right? Two, three, four, five. I will not spend the entire episode on this, obviously. But on the other hand, we also cannot live without having our structure in place, that one. So that's gonna be up to the next level. I will need to make sure that I know how big this is. And one, two, and then it's gonna be That one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yep, that one. So it's just the last, the last corner here. This is the flip side of making sure that we have a big base, is that it also takes a bit of time to build. I have no problem with it. I hope you have no problem either. Luckily you have the luxury of just skipping an episode or just bouncing forward. God knows, there's enough episode as it is. If you have to zoom forward 10 minutes then that's it. But if you did, you're going to be mistaken because I just completed it. And actually I think this one actually also needs a pillar here. Ah, okay, almost. Yep, that wasn't... There we go, perfect! This is the space we have, and I believe that we are getting it in... Uh, this one, maybe? What are we doing here? So it's this one. Ah, how do we do this? How do we do this? Uh. I'm not actually sure that it will come in there. I think they might be coming in here and here as like that and like that. 
and that means with these below yeah let's actually assume this that's probably correct so that will And that one's not going to come. So these three other locations, that way they come in. Somehow. Right, let's, let's start building, look at our stitch plates. Because that is kind of what we wanted to do. At least get some idea about the design of it. So it's going to start with this beautiful large machine. Let's put that gun away before someone gets hurt. And it will be... I, it should be using reinforced, but that looks... It needs so much. That takes so much. 12 seconds. Or stitch plate is better. Look at this. This creates three reinforced. And it takes 24 seconds. But in 24 seconds, it consumes 30. So that's much more... Much better. This one is consuming two per, per second, which means it must get some better ones. But stitch plate is amazing. It also was used for seven and a half. So... 15 iron plates, that is half an inserter or half a smelter. This one, okay, let's uh, go back and look at constructors. All right, let's get a constructor. This constructor, if you're building alternative wires, nine wires or three wires, three wires for one, this is Oh my god, it's just 50% more effective and it uses... Oh, crazy good. Crazy good. Of course, it's like an odd number, but um, 2 per 15. And this one can saturate two of these. Yep. Yeah. It takes... Oh, it takes 75. So it's almost, like almost, almost, almost. Right? And another one of these to take... So this one will do iron plates, very simple, 15 in, 15 out, yes. So this one is consuming 15 plus 15, yes. And oh, that's, if we, let's pretend, just for a second that this was 75. That would be 15 in, 15 out. And this one would be, oh shit, there's something I forgot. How do I get power upstairs? Huh. That's actually kind of a conundrum. Oh, I'm going to do something that I sh think that no one will want, will like. Like that. You don't like it? Don't care. And now that's brought in. Okay, we have the power. We have the power, and let's build it in the corners. So much for design, all right? But I think this will help us a lot. Just generally, just make sure we have it everywhere. Is that close enough? No, it's not close enough. I did feel that. Now we have a really good power network here. It's very easy to draw it in. 
So we just take from here to there, and then we start looking at under. And uh, let's see, so we take seventy-five divided by sixty-seven point five. No. So if this one was ninety, let's try to get some plates in and some wires in, and then take it out again. Now it's at. That's exactly the wire, it's exactly where it should be, right? And then it proves 6.75. Alright. That means this one should also be scaled down by 90% for sure. Fortunately, that doesn't work until it actually gets some. Okay. <clears throat> but I'm gonna still go to treat it as, as 30 coming in here, and that gives us. So how many, that means just, yeah, this is so easy. I mean, this means I need one of these and two of these. And for each of that I get, I can do, how, how many do we like? Could we make four of these? I could definitely make four of those, right? We are getting stuff up here, so why don't we just take, build it like constructor here. Oh, the irony. Oh, the irony of us not having exactly what we need to build up here is what we're missing. And okay, so let's build the assembler first. It should be in the middle. And how close is it to the wall? That's way too close. Yeah. Try again. That one. These are in the corner. These are in the corner. This is perfect. Perfect. Could maybe be moved one back. Yeah, it could be moved one back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so almost perfect. Perfect. I guess that was here, so we just move it. We got that one. Yes. And I need two of these. They can be made not exactly on the lines, but almost on the lines. If we make it on the lines, then there's not room. So one shift out. And then on the line and then one shift out. Here. That's easy. That's easy. This is alternative wire. This is plates. All right. And then I need a splitter before it, like that. Hmm. And it wasn't even. This is better. So they're equally far away. They go in there. One, one. This is now slightly under 30 and exactly 30. Oh, exactly 15. Holy shit, that's a lot. That's not much. That is really not much. So this one can actually feed two of them. That changes everything. Which means our setup should not be based on this, but it should be based on two of these next to each other. I think that's the middle? Yep, yeah, that's the middle. And then the middle one here. Yep, 
No, it's it's exactly the same. It's just the difference is just that I just need 45 in here. So I somehow need to split belts into 45, and that's kind of tricky. Although I don't really need it, do I? If I let it take two of these, then it takes 30 plus 40. This is 45, then it takes 90. Still not really a good measure. Check that one out. Yeah, well, I just have to figure out a way to get 90 in here. There. Alright, so that's a unit. This one takes 90 iron and almost, almost 90 iron, right? And it produces 6.75 per second, per minute. That's good. That's still not 90. It's 45. They are so cheap. And then we just need to see how many we can place of these next to each other. That one, that one. These are... That means... And I don't have this one. That's ridiculous. I just do this one. Well, damn it then. Just build it. Right? Just build it. Easy. <clears throat> now, this annoys me somehow because I was like, uh, I was like so happy with it. Because if I get 100, uh, currently I only get 60 on a belt, but let's say I get 120 on a belt. That means I need to take three quarters out. And that's three quarters out is not nice. If it was two thirds, it was easier because then it would be 80. And you know what? How close is it? Hmm. Some of them are full. How is one of them completely full and the other one is barely full? That's a problem. One of these at least must be... Some of this is not working. Yep. There we go. No wonder it's only halfway done. Because only half of them are working. Wonderful. Anyway, that's going to solve that problem. Just nicely. Getting up here. So the reason why I wanted to do exactly what I'm doing now... I want to see how close to 80 it actually is. So, this one, we scale down to 90, like that. Boom, 13.5. So now we scale this one down to 90. And then we have to do this, otherwise it doesn't work. 27, all right, so it's 27. That means this is 87 in total. No, it's 45 minus 3, it's 42. So that is damn close to two thirds of a, I'm about to say red belt. I could live with that. I could live with that under production of two out of 82. I can live with that. Yes. And you know what, just leave it there. Might as well, I, I should get this one anyway. All right, so that's how it's going to be. This is going to run at 90%. It's going to be there. That's going to take two thirds of a belt. So when I have three belts, that's going to be six of these production facilities I need. Wow, that's going to be tough, but that's going to be something we are going to have to see if we can do next episode. And these ones. Absolutely need to go in here. Yep. 
Let's uh, do that and do this one. Ah, there you go. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you like it. I hope you see that we are now getting into second floor. Only on one quarter, but still second floor of our factory here. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay effective.